Rob, if you if you got everything queued up, how are we looking, man? We got a Patrick Aim song coming up. Well, oh God, Joe, I lost. Is it while you're making babies? Yes. Okay, while you're making babies, by not me, but <laughs> by Patrick Ames. Let's do this. Here we go. Cool. So, Dave, if you have. While you were making babies for your. Everyone was making babies. Patrick Ames is focusing on this new song. That's what we just listened to right there. So just posted the review on this, uh, which JoJo wrote that one. The thing I would add to that, I mean, this is classic Patrick Ames, you know, stripped down folk acoustic kind of stuff, which is kind of his, uh, yeah, it's his bread and butter and everything. But I know you had some issues with the vocals here, Joe. To add on top of that, like to better articulate, I would say something you didn't mention was like the waver it's not just the wavering like actually the volume of the background vocals would like they would come in be kind of loud then they'd pull back away off in the background in addition to like some timing stutters it just kind of exaggerated it so i it, it's like this stuff matters you know speaking to patrick it's important i mean i, I know he kind of i know his method is to just like keep cranking out tunes and he's not he doesn't like to spend weeks and months uh, in the studio mixing everything. He just wants to basically get stuff out there. But little things like this are kind of important, I think, to the listeners. Just, you know, yeah, go ahead, Joe. Well, and I even see him kind of, he's, I mean, after I've digested it, it's it's almost like he's experimenting. You know how Bob Dylan gets like real crazy sometime? And even Bob yeah. Dylan fans are kind of like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, it's like that. I mean, that's I think that's kind of what he's doing. He's kind of experimenting with things, you know. Um, Oh, generally speaking, I enjoy his music to, and appreciate it um, because of that fact. You know what I mean? Because he is a very artsy, artful guy. You know, but man, this—I don't know. This one didn't really do it for me. What do you guys think? Yeah, man. I, I really, when this one started, I really, really wanted to like it. I really did because it, it had that kind of vibe I like. Catchy. You know? And but yeah, especially when the vocals go all heterophonic on us and uh, don't line up at all it, it, i just lost it for me i know that's yeah. a big word but that yeah, i dig what i was trying to do he's got a nice uh frail alternative country quality in his voice kind of an mm -hmm. adam reichman neil young i don't get quite what was going on with the drums with that as a drummer drum. yeah i mean there's a lot yeah. about it that i i like i said i want to like it it's gonna, really it's gonna be good like a lot yeah, yeah. So this guy, he comes out with an EP like every six months, basically. So he'll be coming out with more stuff, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure we'll probably have him on back on the show again. He's been on the show a few times, so really nice guy. And uh, Patrick, keep doing your thing, dude. 
Yeah, I think that's one more thing on this, Joe. I, I think that's the give and take of this approach when you kind of do stuff fast. Sometimes you capture magic, like on the first take. It's like, oh, my God, that was live. That's unbelievable. Sometimes it doesn't work. You know, so you'll like catch a winner and then it's like, oh, that one needs work. But that's what you kind of got to deal with if that's going to be the approach. Like you have to just accept, you know, some yeah. might not work. Some are going to be better than others. Occasionally you're just going to, you know, crush one and everyone's going to love it. But yeah. you, you know, saying that every song you write can't be a hit song. <laughs> you're just realizing that right now. <laughs> 